Hello and welcome to another video of SEOZO. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how to configure Syngoma Connect. In previous video, I have like told you the brief introduction of Syngoma Connect. And in today's video, we'll be discussing how we can configure this Syngoma Connect. It is very easy. It is like, like uh, just a piece of cake. Uh, let me take you guys to my, my computer screen and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So here we are at the dashboard of FreePBX. So we'll jump to the uh, first system admin. We'll jump to the Sencoma Connect. And as you can see, uh, the Sencoma Connect is not running. Let me highlight that for you. So, all right. So it's not running. So the first thing is go into the settings. Display name should be your FQDN or any name you uh, you think is the best for you. I'm uh, writing the global names. Registration address. It should be the FQDN, your domain name, or your IP address. Your system IP address would be good, great if you want to use that. But I'm using the FQDN, and here you have to save. First, you need to like uh, like uh, run and update the certificates for the Sencoma Connect because uh, you know the uh, Sencoma Connect works with the SSL. Uh, it's the soft phone, so first that should be up and running. Once you update, it will take like uh, two or three minutes to update. It will apply on all of your users, as I have a lot of the users uh, like uh, in one uh, certificate. You get the 40 licenses so uh, for the 40 licenses for 40 users it will be updated once it is, up, it is updated and it will be like will be saving and running the we'll press that button for the save and run So it is done over here. So let's uh, press this button to enable the Sencoma Connect. Again, it will take a little bit, little bit time, two or three seconds, to load the page. And when it, once it is done, you can see on the top it says running. Now the status has been changed from not running to running. So now you can config the Sencoma Connect phones in your in your dashboard as you can see the Sengoma connect is like now it is checked so that's all so that was all to configure the Sengoma connect i hope you have liked it and i hope you have learned in how to configure the Sengoma connect so see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe to my channel